Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a sink in a countertop. Um, the new vault Tech DLC has given us these wonderful sinks. Let me get one up here. The first time we've had sinks that we can build. Um, I apologize for all the hammering over there. They just won't stop. Anyway, <laughs> these snap to the wall and they snap up very high though, higher than the countertops. And they're just kind of sitting there by themselves. They're good for a bathroom, but for a kitchen, not so much. I, I wanted something a little bit more. So I made up a way to get them inside these countertops so that they look like they're part of it. All right. Now, the way, the only way you can do this that I've been able to discover anyways, is that you need to use a structure that you did not build. Okay. A structure that you can't scrap or move or else this won't work. <laughs> it's just the way the sinks behave. They need, they need a structure that that, that can't, they need to be placed on a structure that can't be moved. So most settlements, if not all settlements, probably maybe all of them have at least some sort of structure that can't be scrapped, whether it's a, an existing shack or, or whatever, a house, even just a sign. So anything that this sink will snap onto, it doesn't have to be a house whatever the sink can can actually get placed onto so all right so then you're going to need to get the the countertop that you want to use you could use a table or anything really but i like to use these countertops so that's what i'm going to use for the video so you're going to place that down and now get a concrete pillar um, if you don't have the Wasteland Workshop DLC, you can use a concrete foundation, the big ones. They just, um, they're big and clumsy and in the way, so it works. It's just not as finesse. <laughs> There's not as much finesse in the use of them as these ones. Anyway, what you're going to want to do then is stick the pillar close to the sink and then hold down the activate button to select the entire thing. Now you can't stick it just straight in. That's, that's not going to work. What I'm doing right now is, here, let me get it a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just getting the height I want on the sink. Okay. I want the sink to be just above the countertop. Now it will, you don't want it to put it down too far in, or it will plug up the sink. Basically there's no depth to the sink then. So you want to raise it up just enough so it still looks like it's deep. The drain won't show, but if you want the drain to show, just lift it up a little bit higher and the drain will show. It'll just be floating. It'll kind of look like it's floating though when you do that. So if you want it to not be floating, rest it. Just push it down until it's resting on the countertop. Okay. Then you have to make it green so that, you know, see it's a little bit too high, but it's floating slightly, but it might be all right. Then move your countertop away and move your pillar away. You don't need that anymore. Okay. So now your sink is at the height that you want it to be. Then you want to go get a rug. Doesn't really matter which rug you use. You can remove it later or not. If you don't want to remove it later, here. Then move it so that it's as close to the... Excuse me, Dance. Get out of my way, please. Get it to as close to the edge as you can and still be able to pick it up. Then you can move the countertop into the sink. And you can line it up just right. However you want it. Set it down. Double check its angle. If you don't like it, you can pick it back up again and move it until you have it the way you want it. Then 
Now, make sure you do this out away from any buildings that you have built, okay? Because we're going to be using the select all but the the uh, multi select. Well, what's it called? Group select. <laughs> there we go. Mind blank for a second there. The group select. And so, if you're near any buildings that you have built or structures you have built, you will pick them up as well. So make sure you're far enough away. So then you're going to want to select the rug and hold down X to group select the whole thing, okay? Then you can move it into your house or to wherever you want it to be. Now, if you are butting it up against another countertop, it's a good idea to get it as close to you as you can so that you can line it up just right. Don't place it down until you have it exactly how you want it because you won't be able to pick it back up again without picking up your entire building. Okay, so get it just how you want it. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to get, try to make this perfect because it's just for the video. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a sink in a countertop, and it looks a little better for a kitchen, so... They're interrupting my, my video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> spent a little time on the run when you were younger? Uh, anyway, there you go, you guys. You can even do a double sink. You just use the, the pillar to put another one next to it before you put the countertop in place, and you can have a double sink for your kitchen. And the sinks work. They actually work. So, as you can see, it it, uh, it doesn't show the drain there. But, uh, for me, I don't mind that. You can raise it up a little higher so the drain shows, but then it will look like it's floating slightly. So, it's personal preference. Do it however you like, and enjoy your countertop sinks, everybody. That's going to do it for this video. Until the next one, everyone, play safe, play nice, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye.